A short beginner's guide on how to pray Salah. Starting your journey of Salat to connect to your Creator with simple step-by-step -step instructions. Written by The Sincere Seeker from The Sincere Seeker Collection. Narrated by Austin Van Fleet. Why do we pray the Salah prayer? The Salah prayer is specifically a human form of worship. All other creatures of God, including animals and plants, submit without question to the Almighty in their unique way. Everything in the sky and earth declares Allah's perfection and worships Him in their way, a pattern we humans may not understand. All other creations of God are in continuous glorification, praise, and remembrance of God and worship in their own way. Just like the other members of creation worship Allah, man is expected to worship God. Do not you see that Allah, glorify him, whoever is in the heavens and the earth, and the bird with wings outspread? Each one certainly knows its prayer and its glorification, and Allah is all-knower of what they do. Quran, chapter 24, verse 41. Humanity was created for prayer and divine worship. God states in the Quran, And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Quran, chapter 51, verse 56. God commands humanity to establish and perfect their prayer by praying properly with concentration and the utmost humility. Every Muslim must work and practice to improve their prayer technique, which is a lifelong commitment. Muslims must engage in a lifelong effort to master this art of communication with their Creator. The ones that fall into a habitual routine of reciting their words without concentration and humility would miss the point of prayer, not benefiting from their prayer nearly as much as those who pray earnestly and with full concentration and mindfulness. Neglecting mandatory prayer is a grave sin in the Islamic faith. Allah, the Glorious, shares a dialogue in the Holy Quran in which the residents of Paradise ask the people of the Hellfire as to the reason for their condemnation. And the condemned respond, They will say, We were not of those who prayed, nor did we used to feed the poor, and we used to indulge in vain talk with the vain talkers. And we used to deny the day of recompense until there came to us the certainty. Quran, chapter 74, verses 43 to 47. The state of one's prayer will be the first thing to be asked of each on the great day of judgment. If one's prayers were in order, everything else would fall into place. If one's prayer were not in order, they would be doomed. The Messenger of Allah stated, The first of man's deeds, for which he will be called to account on the day of resurrection, will be Salat. If it is found to be perfect, he will be safe and successful. But if it is incomplete, he will be unfortunate and a loser. At Tirmidhi. Prayer should be directed only to God the Almighty, as He is the only one in complete control of everything, including man's destiny. He is all-powerful, all-wise, all-knowing, and all-hearing, and can fill anyone's needs and remove all of man's pain and miseries. The Islamic prayer ritual expresses submission to God, showing humility, devotion toward, and love of God. Praying to the Creator daily is the best way to build a personal connection with Him while seeking His guidance, blessings, and forgiveness. Muslims pray to God to gain spiritual strength and peace of mind and strengthen their faith's foundation. Muslims temporarily step out of their daily activities five times a day to connect with God, to stay mindful of Him in this world of stress, struggle, and distractions. Prayers remind Muslims that Allah controls all things so they can put their worldly concerns into perspective. The Islamic prayer method and mode act as a spiritual diet. Such as the body requires food and water throughout the day, our spirit needs to partake in the remembrance and worship of God to stay spiritually healthy. Is not the soul more valuable than the body? When someone does another person a favor or helps them, it's human nature to want to thank that individual for their aid. Since God has blessed humanity with a countless number of favors, including one's wealth, health, family, and all kinds of gifts, a Muslim prays numerous times to thank him throughout their day and night. 
The best way to demonstrate gratitude is through these five daily prayers.